welcome to the Bergen Norway vlog. We departed Gatwick Airport in London on the Friday night, arriving into Bergen very, very late and took the tram directly into the city centre of Bergen, which was a five minute walk from our hotel. at Torget Bergen which was right in the city centre really really nice we told them it was our honeymoon so they gave us lovely Norwegian chocolates on our arrival and then the first morning it was up early and ready to head out it was very cold as you can tell with the hats and the coats but it was a lovely morning a little bit rainy a little bit damp and it was actually the Bergen marathon that was taking place that morning so the whole city was very very busy very very loud and lively all the runners running past our hotel and the views were insane. All those little houses up in the mountains, up in the rooftops, so, so cute. Right on the waterfront as well, right in front of the fish market. You couldn't have asked for a better location for the hotel, absolutely loved it. Then we headed over to Bergen, which is a very famous area. This is a UNESCO heritage site. So as you can see, the front is all very colorful, all very old style, And but these are hotels, these are nightclubs, these are restaurants. So they must keep the look and feel of the front of the shops. And this is just showing the difference of the weather. It's like one side was clear blue skies and the other side is miserable, cloudy, looks like it's gonna rain. And this is a Starbucks. Like I said, it's all very old style really really like viking-esque really really cool very very quaint like look at all these signs and these shop fronts so nice as always you will find an irish shop somewhere and then we headed for a little pastry to start the morning off it's quite early and get some coffee so we headed to got broad which has a few locations around the area we had a lovely norwegian pastry to start off the morning and to warm up because it was quite cold <laughs> breakfast this was a place that was very highly recommended because of the views it is cafe smack river i might be completely butchering that name but we had the eggs benedict which is very popular here and we just shared it because we were still quite full from our pastry but this is the view from the breakfast place it is so so nice a lovely walk along the water very popular area and there was a lot going on in bergen on saturday a lot there was a parade there was stuff happening down at the water around the lake just a lot going on, very loud, very lively, but so, so nice. Then we headed over to the famous fish market. This is the one in front of our hotel. A lot of live fish, so if you're not really keen on fish, I would avoid, but it was just really good to see. <laughs> Obviously fish are very popular. This is a live crab, look at this, because you know, it's on the water, it's on the lake. If you want some fresh fish, this is the place to go. Then in between the little storefronts around Bergen is these little alleyways and don't be afraid to go down these because you will find so much hidden treasures, little stores, little trinket shops. They love their trolls here in Norway and yes, all those lovely animals on top, which, you know, a bit scary, but they love their Vikings, they love their trolls and you can get many little things in these shops. A lot of Christmas shops as well and I did venture into one of these and grab a souvenir, which I'll show you later, but yeah. Really, really cool to see. Really, really cool storefronts. Then next on was to get some reindeer hot dog. Yes, reindeer. So this is a very popular spot and it was so popular and it was so good in fact that we went back twice. So we had the reindeer hot dog with a jam on top, which I've never really had before, but it was stunning. Like it was actually so, so good. So this is the reindeer sausage with a bit of jam and a bit of mustard and some crispy onions on top as well. But honestly, 10 out of 10, would so recommend. Then next we were getting the vernacular, vernacular. I always get this wrong but it's a little cable car that goes up the mountain and into the sky to see the whole of Bergen and Norway. I think it was only a few euros to get this up to the top, uh, quite reasonable, 
but the views were insane. It's such a lovely day as well. We were very lucky with the weather because it rains around 200 days of the year. So do always bring an umbrella or a raincoat when you're coming to Bergen or to Norway. But we were very lucky. We had blue skies and the whole view of the city, which was stunning. actually started to snow when we were up here so I think because of it is so cold the higher up you go it started to snow and we had a little snow blizzard which is quite fun <laughs> then we made some friends so there are just wild goats and rams walking around this area in the mountains so just beware they are very friendly i wouldn't pet them if i was you but just beware they do walk around they cause no harm so they're absolutely fine and then it was back into the city center we stopped for some more coffee because obviously it was very cold we had been snowed on and we came here to get a custard and egg pie and mocha it's a very local spot a lot of norwegians here but it was lovely and the coffees were unreal We went for a further venture along the water and headed down away from the city centre. dinner we headed to Pingvinen and had some classic Norwegian food so it was a lot of fish a lot of meat and broth type meals as was starters and it was a highly recommended spot really really gorgeous Lee presented food I had fish pie then for dinner a lot of butter sauce and potatoes and some slaw and then himself had meatballs with the berries again mushy peas carrots very wholesome very very good food which totally recommend and that was the end of our first night as we were up very early the next morning to head to the Norwegian fjords. So we were headed to get the 7.30 bus because the trains weren't running this morning and we had to get bus replacement from Bergen to Voss, which had lovely scenery and we were able to get an earlier bus than planned to get us into Voss even earlier, which was very, very good. But the bus took around 90 minutes or so to get to Voss, but unbelievable scenery the whole way there it was gorgeous to Voss then we had around 30 minutes before our next mode of transport which was the train and we headed over to get a good cup of coffee because it was very much needed we hadn't had any coffee so far and this is Voss which is a very popular ski resort town we've seen a lot of people with skis so if you're ever looking for somewhere to go skiing Voss might be your place but again extremely scenic and stunning we were off to Myrdal which is our next stop before we would get the train then to Flom and we were looking around a lot of greenery a lot of houses a lot of built up areas really really gorgeous before then going into a bit more colder weather which we had no idea we were going to be going into so the snow started and then it started and it got higher and higher and it got a lot lot colder so we had no idea we would be going into this kind of climate, which was a surprise, a very welcome surprise because it was absolutely stunning to see. And just the change in temperature, the change in climate was insane. Then we hopped onto our Flambana train heading to Flam. So this is one of the most recommended 
routes in Norway, one of the most recommended things to do is the Flambana train because you see things like this. It is insane. Unbelievable views, the snow, this was the waterfall that we were stopped off to see. Um, but as you can see, it was very much frozen. This is the only bit of water that was running. But look at the snow, it was snowing a blizzard. amazing mountain views all amongst the fjords and then we came down into more communal areas arriving into Flom, so you can see more built up houses and the train does have open windows so you can poke your head out and see the scenery. But hi, this doesn't even look real, like it just looks like a movie. And then we had arrived in Flom. So I'm showing you here where we started or where we ended up, so this is Flom, where we are now. And then to get back to where we're going, we're going to take the cruise right around and then ending in Goodvangen. And then from there, we're going to go back to Voss and then back to Bergen. So when we arrived in Flom, we actually had around three hours to kill before our cruise. We kind of thought that Flom was going to be a lot bigger than this and we would have a lot to explore. But basically there is one of everything. There is one Flom bakery, there is one Flom restaurant, there is one Flom souvenir shop, a Flom museum and that is about it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous place. Don't get me wrong, it is stunning. Like look at this. But just be warned, there is not much to do and see. Just go for a walk, take in the surroundings. Hopefully you get a, be a good day weather wise. And then it was time to take off on our little cruise in the Norwegian fjords. So this has always been a bucket list item of mine and when I say it did not disappoint, it is incredible. I mean, breathtaking. Even passing these little towns that live, the people live here amongst the fjords and have these views every day, all day, which to me is just insane. The further up the fjord we did go, the colder it got, it was freezing. So we had two or three hot chocolates to keep warm, as you can see, but the views were so worth it. and. Something I'll remember forever. It is so, so worthwhile. I will say that it costs around 100 pounds per person to do the entire trip. So your transport from Bergen to the cruise and then from the cruise and back to Bergen again. So it is, it is expensive, but it is a one in a lifetime opportunity to do this kind of thing. And I would totally recommend it to anyone. It's, yeah, these views speak for themselves. It is unbelievable. Then we stopped at Goodvangen, which is a Viking town, and we didn't have much time to explore here because our bus was leaving in around 20 minutes from here to go back to Bergen. And again, look at the difference in the sides. Like, one side is pure snow and one side is green grass. Like, it is, the climate here is insane and it's just so incredible to see. back to Bergen we were very very cold and needing a hearty meal so we headed to China Palace which was directly opposite our hotel and had a lovely Chinese dinner and I would totally recommend it was actually very very nice and I really enjoyed it. And then it was time to check out on our final morning. So this is the hotel that we stayed in, the Scandic Torget in Bergen. This is our room, so very, very standard. Just two beds pushed together. You had very Scandic furniture, I would say. Very Scandic aesthetic. You can see our Starbucks sitting there. But this is the view from the window, just looking onto the high street and some storage space, not that big, with an iron and ironing board in the room already. And then this is the bathroom. 
very standard, very, very clean, very, very nice, and would totally recommend. final day it was just more wandering the city so I would say that Bergen is very very small that you can do this all in one day they had these lovely telephone boxes that had books inside like a little free library which was so nice there's loads of them dotted around the city as well and then we came back to the Bergen area because the marathon stuff had all been removed and we could actually see everything in its full glory and it looked gorgeous and um, we headed for some coffee and a pastry as we like to do and we headed to Baker Brun, which was a very popular spot, very famous, and had a lovely cinnamon roll and egg tart with some mochas and caramel lattes. So tasty, so, so yum. <laughs> then we went to a walk down to the fortress, which is at the end by Bergen, and a lot of grounds to walk around, very nice to see. But we also came upon the Norwegian Great British Break Off and we could see in the tent they were filming, there was people becking things, it looked very much like the British one but it was just so random to walk upon and stumble upon, so so good. <laughs> then I went back into the Christmas store and bought myself a little souvenir, so a little Norwegian flag to hang up on my Christmas tree when it comes to Christmas. And then of course we came back to get our second reindeer hot dog because they're actually so good and so reasonable as well. I think maybe, yeah, eight euros for this, but so filling, so big and really, really tasty with this jam. I can't recommend this jam enough. I keep going on about it, but so good. And that is everything from our trip to Bergen. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you have any questions, of course, leave them down below and I'll get back to you if you ever think of going to Norway, going to Bergen, I totally recommend. It's a very quick flight very popular destination and thank you so much for watching.